Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and I'm here at ITW 2016 with my very good friend, Mr. Todd Raymond. He's the CEO of 1547 Critical Systems Realty. Todd, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Jamie, and good morning. So it's great to be here on JSA TV again. I know it's a it's a it's a series that we're doing here of uh, Todd and his uh, his growing <laughs> list of, of successes. Uh, so you. you can check out other interviews actually of 1547. Um, but today you're getting the very latest. Mm -hmm. We um, we have an announcement of a facility here in Chicago. Can you tell us what makes Chicago uh, your latest and greatest facility? Sure, Jamie. Uh, Chicago is a unique opportunity for us. It's a 230,000 square foot building on the south side of Chicago, located about a mile from the University of Chicago. Uh, it's it, everything that the south side of Chicago implies. It is a uh, historic building. Uh, it was the first commercial bakery in the United States, and um, it's a uh, it, it, it is on the register of, uh, of historic places, the National Register of Historic Places. So it, it really gives us an opportunity to take one of the most, I think, one of the most beautiful buildings in uh, in the South Side of Chicago and turn it into uh, turn it into a, a modern day uh, technology facility. It's 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 going to be a beautiful project. Oh, I just love that and the, the restoration bringing back the elegance of um, the old Chicago. You actually showed me a picture of it uh, in, in a, few, uh, a few years ago, and it, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. Right, so um, now Chicago is just one in a portfolio of facilities for you. Can you tell us a bit about some of your other properties? Sure. Uh, we have three other properties currently, uh, currently in the portfolio in addition to Chicago. Uh, Orangeburg, New York, which is located you know, within the New York metro. Uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, uh, which is now actually full. Uh, recently filled that oh. facility up, uh, and uh, Kapolei, Hawaii, which is uh, my favorite one to visit. <laughs> so uh, it's a, uh, you know, they're all unique. Kapolei is uh, the first of what will be a three-building complex. Uh, it is small. It's about 12,000 square feet, and it's retail. So it's cages and cabinets. We have some private suites. Um, Cheyenne was green fields out of the ground. Uh, it's the first of a three-building campus, uh, and that one filled up about a year and a half to two years sooner than we anticipated. Um, but we have an anchor tenant there that grew quickly. Uh, and then uh, Orangeburg, New York, um, 232,000 square foot building. That was our first development and we're about 50% occupied there. So, and growing, you know, growing in all of our locations. Uh, in your New York facility, there's a diversity play um, uh, with Manhattan, correct? Uh, so what type of, what type of clients are attracted there? Yeah, I, I, it's, it's, Basically, anybody who's going to locate their equipment outside of outside of downtown Manhattan, it's we, we see the same tenants, customers, clients that you would see in northern New Jersey in that market. Uh, we have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, we're in an enterprise zone. We have a better price on power than in New Jersey and Connecticut and Long Island, much higher. Um, but our our customers are cloud providers, uh, financial analytics firms, uh, cable companies. So uh, a good a good diverse mix of customers. And when will Chicago be uh, online for you guys? Yeah, that's a good question. We are uh, we're currently in the uh, permitting process. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent some time yesterday uh, with the engineers uh, finalizing the 85% drawings, uh, and also with the potential anchor tenant uh, trying mm -hmm. to uh, trying to get some of their design concepts into the facility. As 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 you know, and and some of the the listeners may know, you know, our, our model is to customize data centers for mm -hmm. our clients. Uh, we work collaboratively with our clients all the time. Uh, from the from really concept, our, our tagline being from concept through completion. And we like to be involved the minute they believe, you know, believe that they need, they need to outsource their data center. They want to build it elsewhere other than in their own facilities. Um, we want to be involved because we can, with the in-house construction expertise that we have, design expertise that we have, we can basically build anything for any client. Yeah. And so for our viewers who uh, want to learn more about this custom solution, where can they go? Uh, 1547realty.com. Uh, you can see pictures of all our sites there, and uh, we're constantly updating it with new information. Thank you so much for joining us here, Todd, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.